named Acid Rain. Let's begin. Well, I know what you must be thinking. It is really possible or I am just proving a fictional story. Well, Acid Rain is a real thing and can harm our environment. So, in today's episode, let us learn more about this hunting aspect of nature and explore a vital topic we call acid rain. So, what is this phenomenon? A terrifying name called the acid rain. We all know that rain clouds are formed of pure water, but sometimes gases such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide chemically react with the water and oxygen in the atmosphere and fall back to the earth. In the form of acid rain, a shower which you don't want to take. The type of acid rain that contains water is called wet deposition. Whereas acid rain formed with dust or gases is called dry deposition. How do these gases fill the atmosphere in the first place? Well, there are two main sources for it. First, the natural source like rotting vegetarian or erupting volcano release some chemicals that cause acid rain. But most acid rain is a product of human activity like burning of fossil fuels. Smoke coming from vehicles and chemicals released from the factory. And now comes the most crucial question. And what is that called the rain turn acidic? Well, it's important to understand that normal rain is already a little acid. Yes, my friend. While falling towards the ground, the rain dissolves carbon dioxide from the atmosphere that forms carbonic acid, the pH of 6. But when we burn fossil fuels that release gases such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide, a much stronger acid gets into our brain to form acid rain with pH 3, which increases the acidity of rain significantly. where the sulfur dioxide reacts with more oxygen to form sulfur trioxide that eventually mixes with the rainwater and creates sulfuric acid. Similarly, when our vehicles release nitrogen oxide into the atmosphere, they relax with two more oxygen and mix with rainwater to form nitric acid. And now we know how the rain turns 